Sugar One and Sugar White RC Crawl doing fine if you're in. Like always, thanks for watching and welcome to part three of my build project on a old vintage RC boat that I picked up, the Voyager Cabin Cruiser. Now in my previous video, which I'll include all the links down in the description box uh, that you can see all the previous videos. In my previous video, I talked about tearing down the vehicle, uh, stripping all the electronics and motors out, tearing off the stickers and everything, and getting ready for paint, which is this is what this video is going to be about, is doing the painting process. So I decided to, for paint-wise, I wanted to do a two-tone color with this thing. Um, I wanted to do a kind of a Carolina blue. I did, I picked up a, a paint of spa blue, but it's close to Carolina blue. And I'm going to do a gloss white on it. And uh, I might look at touching out some of the other features as well. So, uh, but real quickly, I just want to show you what I've done with the boat so far. Uh, before I started doing the painting process, I wanted to go ahead and cut out a few things. Uh, so let me show you. As you see, all the stickers has been taken off. I didn't show that in the last video because I just wanted to take some time to actually peel these things off. Uh, so open it up. As you see, all the electronics are stripped out and everything. Now, this platform right here, this is where the old school electronics went at. I actually cut half of it out so that way when I add the new electronics in, I can store my battery pack right there. So I went ahead and done that. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the, the hole and everything. That. Now another thing that I did as well is that I needed a way to access the electronics. Now the small little hatch on the back is where the original uh, C batteries would go into. That was not going to be, that's not going to work with me on getting the electronics in and the battery pack in. So what I did was I actually unbolted the top and cut out the roof. So that way it's going to make it more accessible for putting in the electronics and batteries in. So yeah. So let's go ahead and get this thing into the painting process. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a Carolina blue, white, and then I'll go back uh, later on and go through the details of the, the stairway and the wood planks and stuff like that. So I got a few ideas with that. So let's go ahead, get this thing outside, start painting it, and then we can get into installing the electronics and any of the uh, uh, small scale stuff I'm going to put on it. Alright, so let's see you outside.
Alright everyone, so I'm back here in the house after doing a painting process which took a lot of time to do. It was a very uh, time effort ordeal and very painful ordeal, especially when you're doing a two-tone paint job like you see now. Uh, it took a lot of time to do, especially with taping off and stuff and painting, taping, painting, taping and painting. Very long process and as you saw in the video. Now I didn't show everything in the video because I didn't want this to be like a 20 minute some video of me painting this this boat over and over again. So I just kind of broke it down a little bit to show you the process of what it took to do it all. But uh, it's very nice and I'm not actually done painting on the vehicle yet. I still have a few things I got to touch up on the boat. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna go back that with go back to that with uh, smaller paint brushes and stuff like that and bring out the details of the boat. But uh, so far it's turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. I'll give you a close up view here of it. The uh, spa in blue, the gloss white, and I also touched up on the railing with a silver metallic, which really just popped it out a little bit more. As you see here, all very nice. Now I also done the inside of the hole as well, but it's not the best. I don't want to show that. I just kind of like just missed over a little bit. I didn't want to do a really uh, perfect job on it because it's not something you're going to see a lot. Uh, but definitely it's turning out really nice and uh, so not much to go with on this build. All I got to do now is install the electronics, the motors, uh, and also some of the little scale hardware that I want to put on it as well. So that's all I got to do left uh, or do now on the uh, the boat. Uh, but it's definitely coming out pretty well. Um, so yeah. So thanks for watching this video, part four of this video, which is going to be installed in electronics and the scale uh, items is coming up here soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep updates and all my other RC videos as well. Also visit my Facebook page for all the uh, behind the scenes of the of the boat pictures and all. Uh, so definitely I'll look, uh, put all the links down in the description box so you can guys can check that out uh, and like the page and all. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you in part four of the Voyager Project Rebuild. All right, see y'all later.